Now, is this safe? Um, is this safe? You know how you put the, the thing around it to glue them both together? Mm -hmm. Is this safe to cut into that now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so to get the spout to fit, what I do is I'm gonna, I set it kind of behind the pot. So when I look at it, So when I get down to the level of the teapot and I look at it, I can look and see where I want that spout to be. And then that'll show me about where I want to cut it. Okay, so let's say something like that. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna mark it like that. And then that's how, I, that's where I need to cut that. So basically, I'm gonna cut that like that. Maybe have to cut back a little bit more. And then hopefully, that's gonna be springing up at the angle I want it to be springing up at. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, and I'll, we'll take care of the, the spout later when it gets a little firmer. So we can cut it, you know, at, at an angle that it pours well. For right now, we're just worried about getting this attached. I'm just going to sketch around where I want that to be attached. And then I have, uh, you know, you have the hole of the teeth of the spout. I want to make that hole. I want to at least make one hole okay you guys can there's different reasons why you put multiple holes when you cut out for a spout just for these little teapots you guys don't have to worry so much about that but it's always better to cut a smaller hole than a bigger hole you can always make it bigger you can't make that hole any smaller without it being a real pain in the butt so then we're gonna go we're gonna mark inside the line that you drew and again, when you score and slip, this is gonna to start to be really important when you start to make bigger pieces is that you, when you're scoring, you're making the surface rough. You're not just making little marks, you're actually making it rough. I usually put slip on the piece that I'm attaching as opposed to the larger body. And then just like the other pieces you've attached, you're just gonna gently wiggle and apply a little bit of pressure hopefully you get some slip oozing out of that seam because this is nice and wet i can adjust the spring the angle of that spout and then just you don't really need to blend it in i'm just kind of refining this a little bit where that slip oozed out you can actually just get a drier brush and get that slip off of there. Oh, that didn't work so well. We'll edit that out in, the, in production. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's all there is to the spout, to the handle. I think with this, I'm actually gonna make a handle that's longer, that's gonna go over the whole top of the pot. But it's the same, pretty much the same deal. Well, maybe I'll do a side handle. Nah. I'm gonna make a longer one that goes over the top. Yeah, because I want it to go over the top. So when you guys are looking at... Uh